I'm going to give you a much detailed uh, description of what's going on and why we really cannot uh, financially take this forward anymore. When we lift him up, I'll show you what's gone wrong and I'll show you what how much needs replaced. And basically, I mean, we've already started taking a few pieces off. I was going to take the badge off for myself, but it's really well glued on there. And to be honest, this whole part when it comes off could be reused for someone with the who needs a Freelander front grill. I, I also was thinking, and just hear me out on this one, if I ever get a new Defender, to keep this grill part and make some sort of, I don't know, fruity modification for the front of my future new Defender, just to avoid for any other Freelander owners maybe trying to jazz up their front. These are really hard to take off, I found. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Uh, don't know why you'd wanna take the Land Rover badge off anyways. What we're gonna do in the next few weeks, we're gonna lift Bonnie Lad back up I'm gonna get a good description for you on what's gone wrong, what needs repaired, take the reg plates off, keep a few bits for myself. And yeah, just I'm gonna give you a much more clued up version of what's going on underneath here. And so we're gonna keep the engine. Um, everything else dropped. We'll think cosmetically at this point. So things like the scuffs, I didn't do that. The engine's in good shape, so we're going to be keeping that. And as you can see, things might come off. Might keep a few little bits of badging. That will come off quite easily. Anything that is worth salvaging off Bonnie Lad is going to be salvaged and kept. Light guards, I don't know if this is worth keeping. So here we've got General Grabber ATs on Bonnie Lad. They're AT3s on Charlie the Discovery 1. But due to the fact that they're relatively good unused tyres, we're putting his old ones back on. While we're here, I'm just going to do a quick uh, 360 around the entire vehicle and see what else we find on the way that's worth salvaging. As you can see already from the badge I've kept for myself, um, I've already been suggested to turn that into a keyring or just keep it for old time's sake. So here we go. I can tell you, I can tell you a rather uh, humorous story about this, this door here. I'm not, if, I'm not sure you'll be able to see this dent on the driver's side door on this Freelander, but it's been here since I owned the vehicle, I swear. Um, I got it on my birthday and drove it to uni. So happy, proud, new Land Rover owner. Um, parked up next to my friend's mum and when she got out she went, Oh my gosh, have you just done this? You've got a dent. And I promise it was always there from from the uh, from the start. Um, <laughs> but no, it was always something on the list of things to get replaced. So we actually do have a spare um, Freelander door that was always meant to be for this one. That'll be going as well. I'm not sure if this one will be much use to anyone. However, um, there is also a spare Freelander door with plastic cream plastic trim which mine's black but that could have been changed as well but um never mind um it's just something that we've always been planning on doing and as you can see here that's mostly where the the dent is just underneath so it was never really noticeable but always something that we were meant to do so yeah we've moved houses and we've also took a freelander door with us that's all um it's all good <laughs> it's um it's quite sad to be walking around and thinking but it's also good to uh, remember all the, the good times with Bonnie Lad, like jumping up on the roof, which uh, holds me, so it's definitely uh, robust. Uh, no, no damage to the, um, to the windows on the sunroof. So if anyone's looking for a sunroof, I've just found a random chicken egg, which is something else. If it's not a collie, then it's chickens. What are you doing, Lucy? Hmm. If I just go over here and turn the lights on. Oops, cable's gonna stretch far enough. But you look here. 
if you look here, as you can see, we've already tried attempting to try taking off the one of the wheel arches, which is plastic, and it's definitely revealed a lot of corrosion just here. So this is something that needed to be addressed probably at some point. Um, and I don't know if it would have gone noticed if we were had started making repairs.